Hi and welcome to Movies Suck. Okay, this was a bit of a strange story. I saw a headline, I clicked on it because, you know, you see a strange headline, you click on it, you can't help it. It's just what you do. But this was an interesting headline because when I clicked on it and then read the story, I found that the story had nothing whatsoever to do with the headline. In fact, the headline was completely and utterly misleading and didn't inform you in any way about the actual story hidden within. The headline being that Kira Knightley will no longer do sex scenes if they're filmed by men. That was the headline and I saw that and I thought, what's going on here? So I clicked on it, I read the story, here's the story, I'll read you a bit of it and you can see what I mean. Speaking on a recent Channel Connect podcast episode, actress Kira Knightley reconfirmed her new stance on filming sex scenes. Now she says she will only film them if they are directed by a woman. Okay, let's read further. We'll see how wrong that particular title or statement is. If I was making a story that was about the journey of motherhood and body, in this case they put acceptance, but she just said body, I feel like, I'm sorry, but that would have to be with a female filmmaker. Perfectly fine, why not? A female filmmaker would probably have a good idea or a good feeling of how that should be done. Especially if she's actually had children. Obviously, if she hasn't had children, then obviously that particular female filmmaker would probably have no better idea than any men. But anyway, she says, if it was about motherhood, about how extraordinary that body is, about how suddenly you're looking at this body, this body, that body, her body, his body, what? Bit of a nonsense thing there. But anyway, looking at this body that you've got to know, and this is your own, and it's seen in a completely different way, and it's changed in ways that are unfathomable to you before you become a mother, then yeah. I would totally be up for exploring that with a woman who would understand that. But I feel very uncomfortable now trying to portray the male gaze. You'll notice that nowhere in there does it say that she doesn't want to do sex scenes with male filmmakers or directors or anything of that type. She just said that if she was going to explore the idea of um, pregnancy and having a baby, she'd rather do that with a woman because a woman would understand what you're going through more. Completely understandable. Completely doesn't explain the misleading headline in this story. Anyway, she then clarifies why she feels differently now to how she felt earlier in her career. She says, I don't want it to be those horrible sex scenes where you're all greased up and everyone is, <laughs> when you're all greased up and everybody is grunting. I'm not interested in doing that. Saying that, there's times where I go, yeah, I completely see where this sex scene would be really good in this film. And you basically just need somebody to look hot. So therefore, you can use somebody else, because I'm too vain, and that body has had two children now, and I'd rather just not stand in front of a group of men naked. And this is the crux of what the title was about. Essentially, she said that she's too body conscious after having two children to want to be naked in front of men, generally, at the moment. Because she just doesn't have the confidence to do that. She's said, I'm too vain here, but that's obviously not true. She just doesn't have the confidence after having two children at the moment. Maybe she'll get that confidence back at some point in the future. But the minute she's like, I don't really want to, you know, be naked in front of a bunch of men who uh, probably be judging her. And she will feel that they don't find her as attractive as they used to, which is completely understandable. When you put on weight sometimes, you end up feeling less confident in yourself. And you think to yourself, yeah, I'm going to leave this t-shirt on a bit longer at the beach. I'm not comfortable taking it off because I know I don't look as good as I used to. We've all been there. So completely understandable. But at no point does it say that she no longer wants to do sex scenes in front of men or no longer wants to do sex scenes at all, regardless of men or women. It doesn't say that anywhere in the story. I've been through the whole story. Then they have a bit here about her previous sex scenes. Apparently, the sex scene in Atonement with the bookshelf was her favourite sex scene that she enjoyed doing the most. And there's other ones where she talks about the fact that in Aftermath, she actually had a body double and it wasn't her at all. And then another one where she was in doing a sex scene in The Duchess and apparently the guy was wearing this funny nappy thing and it just looked too silly to actually do it so she just couldn't stop laughing. Completely understandable. I imagine those nappy things look really silly. And then she did another sex scene. She was unhappy with it originally and the director actually offered to just completely cut the sex scenes out which was cool. Nice guy. Good for him. And apparently it was a film called A Dangerous Method and she in the end was okay with doing it because the sex scenes weren't intended to be sexy. They're intended to be kind of clinical and uninteresting. So she was like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. But the point of this story and the point of all of these stories was that she had said that she will no longer do sex scenes if they're going to be directed by men or filmed by men. All of these stories all saying the same thing. And I've been through a few of them 
And at no point does it say that she's not willing to do sex scenes in front of men or with men, male filmmakers or directors. It's all just nonsense gibberish that's been made up. I had to look for some other story from some other time period where she said, I'm not doing any more sex scenes in front of male directors or male filmmakers. And it's just not here. It's absolute rubbish. So, those of you who are looking forward to Kira Knightley doing another sex scene, well, you're probably just going to have to wait a little while, but it's probably going to happen. Although, that said, when it happens, it might be a, a body double, so don't get your hopes up. Maybe I should do a story about how all of these women were using body doubles, unless it's clearly obviously not. In any case, Kira Knightley probably will be doing sex scenes, as normal as she always has, once she gets her confidence back. You'd have thought these days, with the whole body positivity movement and things, that she wouldn't care how she looks. But the fact is that when you're vain, you're vain. And as she said, she's too vain to allow herself to be seen anything less than her best. So, when she does come back to doing these sorts of things, I imagine she's going to look very, very good. This is Movie Sucks signing out. Leave a like, share, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side.